So let's let's shift to the Euros because this is supposed to be our year, uh, Euro uh, pre-vote, preview show. So let's uh, let's get rolling there. Let's yeah, let's start with Group Group A because Italy's in Group A, right? Makes yeah. it makes most sense. Yeah, right. Yeah, let's do it. Um, th- this group you have the host, original host of the of the tournament was supposed to be Italy. Now it's spread out throughout a few different countries. You have Italy, Turkey, Switzerland, and Wales. Um, I don't think any of us expect Italy to get anything other than first place in this group, right? Mm. <laughs> the only thing, the only thing that um, I always say is you never Italy always starts tournaments slow, but the fact that they're playing three home games and they've been playing so well, and it's a young team, yeah, I would agree. And with that. and not that they played important games, but they haven't lost a game in like twenty seven matches or something like that. Like they've they've been on a, a good roll with Mancini. Um, you, so you would definitely expect Italy to win this group. Obviously, we're all thinking that, right? But like, I could see them tying Turkey. Like Turkey's yes. got a decent Turkey. Roster. Turkey's That's- like my sleeper of the tournament. Tournament. I think they have they got good players. Um, if they can put it together, they can make some noise. That's what I was gonna say. They open up with Turkey first game on Friday, and if that game goes the wrong way, which like to Dan's point, I could easily see a tie. Does the pressure of playing at home all of a sudden turn into okay? Now we now we play Switzerland and they end up trying to battle their way through in the third game. We've seen tournaments like that, you yeah, know, all, sure. the, all the way back to the '94 World Cup where they ended up in the final, but it, it took like the final day on a, on a uh, tiebreaker. It, it was pulling know? teeth just to get out yeah. of the group. It was yeah, yeah it, was, it was rough. Hey, um, did you did you have a Tottenham? He wants to bring the Bolucci Kulovesky with him. Good, go. Great. Why is he? I don't know how that fits into the Euro talk. <laughs> We're talking Euros, but all right. <laughs> so we we have a segment on our show. It's called "Figure Out Which One of the Four Hosts Is Drunk." That's the first clue. <laughs> so in this group, you have Switzerland also. Which Switzerland? I mean, they're they. I, I think Ricardo Rodriguez is like their star player. Like they don't have. They don't have a lot. They, no, oh. they have a couple guys that aren't oh, terrible. You see, uh, uh, Italy's playing good, but it's not easy with Turkey, Switzerland. Yeah, Tur- they got yeah. Foiler. Like, yeah, they do have Foiler. Exactly. Yeah. Like their team's not the worst. Plus, right? they don't give up a lot of goals. They play compact, and Switzerland always gives Italy a hard time. Yeah, like they always do. So, if you had so so, let's should we go through and say who we think is coming out of this group? I mean, can, we, can we mention Aaron Ramsey in Wales first? Because Listen, you guys, you guys hate on Wales, but, like, look, pop up their team, Dom. They have some players on them on there, too. Like, it's not a, it's not going to be easy, like Wales, people are saying. No, Wales has, has – I mean, every team in this tournament has players. I mean, they, they're in the tournament. They qualify. They got to have some decent players on, on their team. Um, yeah. I just – I mean, obviously – caliber of Italy like I don't put any of these teams at the caliber of Italy and I, and if they don't come in first place then that's that's an oh, awful uh, show well, it's just not bad yeah no, no so I think we all agree with you I would say I would think all of us think that Italy is going to win this group correct I think this group is pretty clear cut it's Italy and then Turkey I mean, that's who I have is my two yeah I agree but right. what do you think what do you think Bob? who do you think is coming out of here top two teams uh, Italy and what about the other team? Yeah, I think it's going to be Switzerland. Yeah. You think so? Tom, do you have Turkey's roster? Yeah, put up Turkey's roster. Let's talk about because we got a question from Pond, too. Why Turkey over Wales? So um, Turkey to... has a lot of people in Serie A, first of all. Um, yes. That, that's just something so that's our bias. That, that, I, that <laughs> I like to see. But Chanoglu, Demerol, um, Ion, Kobach on Liverpool, uh, on Liverpool mm-hmm. uh, Mulder on Sassuolo. Like, they have a, a solid defense. Wunder. Um, they have some, yes, yeah, speed. I, I think they have a really talented roster, Turkey. Uh, and if, if they can put it together, they can really, really do some damage. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't think they're going to be top four, but, like, they're not a team to just, you know, let's look ahead to the next game, that's for sure. No, I think I think they're going to play everybody competitive, like physical and and enough talent on the ball, where I think they're gonna they're not going to give up a ton of goals and they're going to score their share, and I just think Switzerland is all dependent on not giving up goals, right? Like winning one nothing or getting ties. So that's that's how Switzerland's going to try to go through. And Wales, it's all about I think it's how Bale and um, 
and Ramsey go, and Ramsey had a horrible year, and Bale's not having the best year. So um, yeah. I just think Turkey's going in with a little bit better form. This year they've been playing really well. I don't think Turkey's lost this year. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yep, Dan James also. It's not the worst group by any means, that's for sure. So do we, think, do we think a third-place team can come out of this group potentially? I personally don't think a third-place third team. Oh, they, they go two, two teams ago, right? Two teams in the top four third-place teams. And top of four. I think it's yeah. a chance, but I don't know. Like It's going to be hard because I think they're going to beat up on each other. I think there's going to be ties in here, you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I, I wish I hope, I, hope, I hope one take for Italy also go to the old habits, right? Remember that they, they play slow in the beginning and they do zero zero the first mm-hmm. they have to win the first game. Yeah. They and that, that's, start, that's their toughest game is the first game. They have to start Turkey. to play the yeah. way they had to play right now. So if you Turkey know. if Turkey was their third game, I'd feel a little more confident. But like if you start slow against them then they So the question really quickly, how many fans are allowed to go to that game? Does anyone know? Oh I have no idea. Italy's got a whole different set of rules than over here. What is 50%, 25? Well, that's what that's what I'm asking because it is in Italy, so that is definitely a huge advantage, which is which is nice. But uh, yeah, I, I mean, mean fit, right? They, that's like up to 50% capacity. Okay. And in terms of the roster, there was news: Sensi got taken off because of injury. Right? They brought in Pessina. Yeah, you could put that up too, Dom, if you want. They brought <laughs> Pessina. Which is a shame. I wanted to see Sensi yeah. play and get some time. Italy's um, roster, if you want, just really quick. But um, um, Bernadeschi's still there, man. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> in the recent friendly this week, I mean, they won convincingly. You saw in the midfield Locatelli take um, a spot because Verratti sat because he's not 100%. So it was, we had this debate last week on who, who we start in the midfield. He started my midfield, by the way. Okay, and again, it was a friendly, so it doesn't really matter. They played they great. Well, they played well together. They played though. awesome, man. They were, which is my point. I think people are sleeping on Locatelli. I'm telling you, he got character. You. I agree with you. Well, we'll see. I mean, that could very well be the midfield to start on Friday. Um, do Do you guys think? Um, you think they're going to start Berardi over Keza? No, that's a awesome. tough one. That's a I tough one. Do. I don't think you can go wrong either either way. But I have to play good the last uh, Yeah, he played great. Yeah, I can't really as much as Keza had a great year, I really can't kill him if he plays Berardi. Plus it'd be awesome to have Keza coming off the bench, right? Yes. With how his work rate and, you just and his flying. speed. Yeah. I think they're very interchangeable. I think Berardi yeah. off the bench is a big lift too. So mm-hmm. uh, you can't go wrong with the right wing. It's a solid it's a, I think it depends uh, also who they're solid. playing who they're playing, right? Because Keza does more work in the coming back in defense, tracking than yeah. Berardi does. So it yeah. depends how much how much he thinks if they're playing someone with the attacking back that he wants to track back. To back too. Yeah, but not as mm-hmm. not as well as Keza. Listen, all I'm saying that game, it was entertaining. It was fun to watch. They played great, man. If they can keep that up. They play like that. I don't see why he has to come yeah. back. Uh, yeah. It was it was awesome. So let's hope it continues. Well, well listen, you know, it's also the, the opponent our defense, too. Our defense play up. Yeah. So how it's, <laughs> yeah, but there was no one also. There was also no one speedy on the other team, <laughs> which allows us to play up too. Yeah, you know. All right. You want to anything else? Yeah, I don't think we, pre- we pretty much said everything about Group A. Yeah, let's move on. What do we got? I don't even remember who's in this group. I think our uh, producer fell asleep. <laughs> <laughs> this group is Belgium, Denmark, Finland, and Russia. That's uh, his one. I mean, Be- Belgium is is the easy choice in that one. The yeah. second spot is pretty, is up for grabs to me in this group. There's not one team, another team where it's like, oh wow, this team. Is- I'm going between. I'm keep going back between Denmark and Russia. I think Denmark. I think is going to eke it out to get the yeah. second place. Uh, Denmark. Yeah, Belgium, uh, Belgium are first place. Yeah. Yeah. Bring yeah. up Belgium's roster. Belgium's got studs everywhere. It's uh so obviously you know with Lukaku there right a lot of people are picking him to win the uh, golden boot of the tournament. Mm-hmm. Uh, so they're very strong up front. They had Mertens up there too. 
They have um, trying to just don't, pick out people in the league. Don't forget Castagna. Yes, the, the ex um, Adelant player. Uh, um, De Bruyne, the, the Hazard. They have, they, have the a very, they have a very good team, which is why they're one of the favorites, right? <laughs> yes. I think I think this team I think really this year we might see Lukaku better than we've seen in a long time. Like he could really make a difference for them if he plays the same way. I mean I don't think they're gonna play the same way as Inter. But so there was oh I thought I was reading uh Benitez, the manager, said thanked uh his transfer to Inter because from three years ago he's a completely different player and he's just I think yeah. about the best chance to go on the fourteen. Yeah, hundred percent. So that, yeah. that's the thing. Like they're they're all set up for a final, you know, a finals appearance, but they just don't have the experience or the um, history of doing that. You know, can they start it now? Because that team, and you put it up against France as the only other team with the actual better roster than them, right? Like I don't see anyone mm-hmm. that even comes close to that. These tournaments are a lot about who's informed on a little bit of luck, right? So, but I think yes, Belgium. I think Belgium could definitely be considered one of the top four teams. For sure. I think I On think for them, for them it would be a disappointment if hey, they don't make final four. Do we have uh, I mean, I mean, a many group? Six. 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 Uh, do we have uh, the you know one group go with the yes to the other group after? It's hard on this one because the way they're doing the third place. Yeah, I mean, on the bo- there's a, the knockout stages on the bottom over there, but it, it's tricky because of all the different possibilities. So if you come in second place. In A, you play second place in B, it looks like, on this. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, you know, one plays either 3A, E, F. You know, it's it's so, yeah. it's so confusing. So, weird. Just so, you know, if people if Italy gets unlucky, think of it this way. Italy could play Belgium next round. Yeah. 2A, 2B. Like, it could happen. Do we think it's going to happen? No. No, I think they set the tournament up on purpose to try to avoid teams like Belgium and, and Italy playing early, it seems like. Right? Like, mm-hmm. they both have to mess up to each other. Oh, well, why are you saying that? Well, because if, if if Belgium comes in first, right, they're one B. Um, Italy, have Italy has to get third in in that spot to play them. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, they have to get third. Yeah, so, so it's it's tough to to pick, but I mean, I wouldn't expect Belgium to not be first in this place. And like I said, if they didn't get final four, um, I would be I would be surprised if they didn't get final four this year. Yeah, I agree. And leading up into a World Cup six months from now, you know, too. Like, you know, we forget that the World Cup is in the winter this year. Yeah. So this is like, you know, a little preliminary, like a little warm up for that World Cup that's coming soon. Yeah. We'll look at the last group later. So so who are are your top, who are your top two coming out of here? Belgium and who? who, I said Belgium and Denmark. What do you guys say? I don't know enough about these teams. Like, they're all just kind of all the the same. I like some players on Russia. Russia has Mirinchuk. At the second place, I'm going to go for the Denmark. Denmark, too. I look at Denmark's roster. It's not – I think yeah, they have I mean, some players. Denmark, they're, they're, um, they have they're a few players there. that are that are interesting. Yeah. For me, Finn is the one that's probably going to get fourth for me. Um, I mean, first of all, they have your boy, Kyer, Dan. Yeah, and Male from Adelante. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Stringer uh, Larson from Lunez. Yeah, Erickson. <laughs> Gold Olsen. Uh, Erickson. Kyer, Mila. Yeah, they, oh they man, have... Cornelius on par. Get him. Oh, Damsgaard. Damsgaard, solid as hell. This team's not that bad. Yeah, yeah, that's why. That's why I said I think they're gonna. I think they're gonna take second. Yeah, they're they're. I agree. Second place for them. Oh shit, yeah. they have, they have an Ericsson too, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it, it's a tough call, really. I, I could any <laughs> three of those teams could. could we get probably there. should be reading off the roster to the people not seeing the the actual uh, yeah, video. Out, video. I, I like to pick out the people that we've been talking about all year. Yeah. So I just talked yeah. about really the Italian take, roster. We're four, an Italian soccer podcast. That would take four hours. <laughs> yeah, I'm not reading off the whole roster of teams. Pukey, yeah. Right, it's a lot, a lot of people. Uh, a lot of people that play in Italy. Yeah, yeah. So Denmark has a lot. Yeah, a lot of a lot of people. Um, so for me, I mean, Belgium, and I'm just going to say, I'm going to say Russia, just for the hell of it. Well, like, can you receive the roster for Russia? I don't even think it's a good roster, but I think I, I just like to pick them. It's a little old, right? Some of their players are pretty old. Yeah, I mean, they still got Zubat forward. Stemming off is still there. <laughs> Golovin. <laughs> yeah, Golovin. Um, they do have a I good coach, like though. Yeah, they're – it's not a terrible roster. I think that uh, Denmark's better though on paper. So, 
I don't see Russian. Yeah. I don't see Russian. The old team, no. The old player that played that, and now some great te team. Don't they have twins yeah. on this team too? Well, they, yeah. Russia keeps a lot of people in house in, in Russia, so you're not. We don't watch the Russian league, so you're not going to be able to like, yeah. you know, yeah, with a lot of people these players out. Yeah. yeah, it's. But um, I don't know. I wouldn't be surprised if they made it through. I would have got Denmark. Yeah, same. Belgium right. and Denmark. You want to go to um, Group C? No, no one even talking about Finland, <laughs> but no one expects. Yeah, she said they're Russian. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Group C has Austria, Netherlands, North Macedonia, uh, and this Ukraine. Is Jesus, this Remind is me, how did Jesus. Netherlands get the second seed in this group? Austria? No, this is Jesus. no, this Net is uh, Netherlands, the Ukraine. There. Oh, it's not in order, Chris. You have this is just here? alphabetically. No. Oh, okay. I was going to say, like, what the hell? How the hell did uh, Netherlands get second in this group? Netherlands, the Ukraine, the Yeah, I would think Netherlands and Ukraine uh, yeah. also, but. For me, we got Pandev on North Macedonia. I'm going to be rooting for North Macedonia in all these games. Um, um, what you call it on there, too? Elmas is on there. Elmas is on that team, too. Yeah, but I mean, come on. Uh, Ukraine has Malinowski. Yeah. I mean, that is true. It, this could be like his coming out party to the rest of the world. I actually – I, 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 really well. I am tempted to put Ukraine top of this group. Because of how yeah. bad the Boar has been with all his last four teams, he got fired by Inter. He went to the next team, got fired uh, after four games. So the problem with Netherlands is they always underachieve. That's the problem. That's what I'm that. saying. And so, with the coach, well, the way they were also the lit got hurt in training the other day, right? So yeah, don't know for how long. So, yeah. um, I mean, but look at Netherlands has a really good roster. This is a this is no uh, roster. To, to laugh at. I mean, you got the room um, in, in, in midfield. They got the young. They got Van de, Van de Beek. And the, that midfield is so good. Right. <laughs> the, 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 yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, like I said, I just think I just think the coach themselves has, has played so bad that if there's a team that's poised to underperform, I feel like it might be them. Yeah. Oh, really quickly, side note. This Koopenmeyer's kid, I haven't seen oh, him play. Oh, the thing, this Malin, the you went to so much talk to him by. Okay. Oh. This other Koopenmeyer's kid, uh, I heard Adelante, a lot of big teams want him, and he's choosing Adelante, So Yeah, he was oh, rumored to be Roma for a while, um, but uh, Adelante looks like they're going to sign him for like 18 million. How much, Chris? Yeah, it was like 18 to 20. I haven't seen him play. Apparently, he's he's legit. Well, so Maybe he'll get some time. Um, Dom, has, Dom has Holland or the Netherlands in his top four. In the chat, I'm seeing. Uh, oh well, he just jinxed the hell out of them, so they're not even making it. <laughs> so, I, mean, I think we, death. I think we all agree that Netherlands should win this group. Would probably whoever you want to put second. I think Ukraine. Uh, Ukraine. Ukraine is good too. Yeah, I think, another, yeah, yeah, I think, I think Ukraine, Ukraine, is Ukraine is going to win the group. That's going to be my hot take for this group. I think Ukraine is going to pull out the group, and Netherlands is going to come in too. <laughs> really? That's your yeah. bold prediction for the for the tournament. Yeah. Why not? It's so easy to go chalk and pick Netherlands. Mm -hmm. Anything I, else? I really want Malinowski to have a great tournament, but I also don't want him to get sold. So, like, I don't want him to do too good hey, because I don't want to so What do you play, Ukraine? Yeah. yeah. Ukraine. Did he listen? Yeah, <laughs> yeah Ukraine. He's going to be – he's going to be hard to stop this tournament. Yeah. Going with the origin um, country of my surname, Ukraine. All right, Kim, you go with Ukraine. So no North Macedonia. But, we don't we don't believe in Pondev getting out of the group I, at forty two years old or wherever he is. I always believe in Pondev. I hope he starts every single game and then he Pondev is, the ground. Is, Pondev's not even gonna play more than seventy minutes, hey, is he? They, they beat Germany a while ago, one nothing. So anything can happen. <laughs> Their odds yeah. to win the tournament or throw some money on it. Can you're a gambler? 10, throw some money 10, on North Macedonia. Ten thousand to one, is it? It might, yeah. be, it might be more than that, I think. <laughs> yeah, I think it's more than that. Tom, go to Group D. What do we got in here? Croatia, Czech Republic, England, and Scotland. What England and Croatia? Um, I would agree with England and Croatia. When you look at Croatia's roster, it's um, pretty it's decent. Actually, it's pretty it's decent. decent. It's pretty they, always, they always have a solid roster. Yeah, and I think their midfield is really solid. 
Um, and England, everyone's picking for them to win the group, obviously. Um, England, England's the one the one team that I never trust in any tournament, though. Like, I, Why? I would you don't... be shocked if Croatia wins a group and England comes no. in second? No, no, I wouldn't be shocked. Even though England's roster is ridiculous. Like, they so have the a, fir- a very good roster. So here's the thing, though. The first game, they're playing each other in London. So big advantage for England, you would think, right? Also, though, that could be good for Croatia. Taking that underdog kind of stance. No pressure. Yeah, you, got nothing to, you got nothing to lose first game. You know, go out there. We um, saw the Czech Republic. And don't forget, Scott, Scotland Scotland has a couple home games. They have some players too. They're not. I yeah, mean, they're, they're, they're not. Good. They're not. They're not. I think Scotland could take a third, one of the third place spots yeah. out of this group. You think Scotland is that good, really? No, I think they um, could. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Usually, I'm a big Czech fan, but this year I'm looking at their roster and I'm like, eh. I don't yeah. see their roster. I'll pull up Scotland's roster. I don't even remember who's on this team. It picked up. Oh, uh, this is this is Czech Republic. What am I looking at? Scotland. Here we go. I mean, I don't know. No, I don't see this team beating Croatia. <laughs> we just, uh, we just play, no, I said third. We I said third. Uh, McTominay, um, Gilmore. I said I third. Mean, yeah, yeah, not, not second. Tom, pull up Croatia's roster now. Croatia's got a really good midfield. Croatia's yeah. got a decent team. I think they could win the group if, if England goes wrong. Yeah, look at this midfield. Yeah, their midfield is good. They got Kovacevic, Modric. Um, they have a very experienced uh, midfield. Yeah. Look at that midfield. Hey, they have Osilic. Osilic, Perisic. Yeah. Um, they have a very experienced team. Good they're going to they're gonna be a tough out. Rebic. Like, their team's solid. Yeah. No, I think Croatia could win the group if England doesn't play to potential. Yeah. They're uh, an interesting team. They really are. In fact, I'll go my second hot take. I'm going to put Croatia <laughs> on England, too. I all right, well, so we have to pull up England's roster. You're picking all these teams. Um, uh, let's see who's on England's roster because they're not exactly um, awful there, Frank. I mean, no, their I roster. I understand. They're the favorites. Their roster is amazing. And Pond was saying in the chat that England has a bad manager. I don't know how Southgate or whatever his name is it is, but like this, this roster is is pretty legit. <laughs> their their roster is always legit, though. Yeah. <laughs> So what do you have? You got Harry Kane, you got uh, Calvert Lewin, Rashford, Sterling, <laughs> just just the forwards alone. Well, well, and like, and uh, Bellingham is one of the young teen year olds that people are saying could be like a breakout star. I mean, yeah. Foden. If you've seen Foden play, Foden's really fun to watch. He, he's a really good player. Um, Sancho. Sancho. Oh, like <laughs> this team. I, I, I think Bellingham played forty two games for Dortmund this year, <laughs> as a seventeen year old. Did he play that many, really? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I don't know how much fun he'll get here on this team, but it's a good experience for them, you know? I mean, their defense is a little questionable for me. Like, I don't trust Harry Maguire. Um, Reese James is good, though. Like, Trippier, he's old now. I don't know that I trust him. Chil- uh, Chilwell's very good. Um, I don't like Stones. Um, Reese James is good. Um, but but it- I, think, I think it's going to depend on what Kane does. If Kane wakes up. If if Kane has a good target uh, tournament, uh, they have a good team. Man. Yeah, I mean you're right. Kane should have hopefully has a good tournament for them, but like they have other players that can beat you. Like their team is just stacked. So oh, Maguire's well, hurt. And hurt. Uh, that, that that weakens their center backs, which which is already weak to begin with. So hence my hot uh, take of Croatia coming in first. <laughs> all right, all right. I mean, I see definitely my choices are England, Croatia for the, for this group. I don't, um, I don't see either of the other teams getting yeah, through. One hundred percent. What uh, we got? Group D now? Our group E? I'm sorry. Group E. Yeah. Uh, what do we got here? We got Poland, to me, Slovakia. To Spain, me, Poland, Spain. Poland, and Spain come out of this group, and I'm, th- I'm even contemplating putting Sp- Poland as the group winner. Spain, no Spain. Did do you guys hear this? Spain's manager only called up 24 because he doesn't want to. Go- yeah, like he knows that everyone's not going to play, so he doesn't want to call them up. Yeah, which is the dumbest. What is this? Heard. What is this? High school? Like it's you can call thing. up these people. Yeah. Like what the he hell? He also he also didn't call anyone from. Uh, Real I, 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 I don't agree with that. Real Madrid, dude. Ramos, uh, I said just Spanish. Dude, you left two spots empty. Why? Yeah. Why, why, why would you leave two spots empty? That's a coach who tells me 
he, he, that's a coach who tells me he thinks he's too smart. No, that screams a coach that thinks he's smarter than who everybody else. Who was the French coach? Who was the French coach for the World Cup who wouldn't pick, pick people based on their astrological sign? This is that how was, stupid this is. To yeah, me. That you know, it's on that who, level. Yep. Yeah. Who? So, and but by the way, one other thing, reason I think Poland once we pull up their roster, their coach is Paulo Souza, who I think is underrated, and I think he's going to get a lot out of that team. Who Poland? You're talking about? Yeah. Poland's got players for sure. Zelinski, uh, a lot of uh, Italian base players. Yeah. Poland, Poland fight. They play hard. They give you not, and then you put a coach like Souza there. Yeah, yeah, no. Uh, Lewandowski. So there. you got you got Chesney, you got Skorupski. From you know, I'm just reading off people who, who play in Italy. Um, obviously, Berzinski. Yeah, Berzinski. Yeah, Berzinski. Yeah, Berzinski. Um, they have a Chicago Fire play. On that team, look at that. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Frank of it, Frank Frankowski. Oh, hey, um, guys, of it's they have L- some, some guy from Chicago Fire. Good. Yeah. Just said that. Yeah. Uh, Zel- <laughs> Zelinski from Napoli. <laughs> uh, Milik, who was on Napoli and now looking, you know, he's looking yep. to come back to Italy. Maybe. Well, don't forget Lewandowski. And that, that's who I was going to say. Like you have the all these players, and then Lewandowski, who might win Player of the Year. You know, yeah, Milik, like the ball Milik court. Too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, Milik. That's what I'm saying. I think Poland. Listen, they could also come in last if they crap the bed, but I think they could they could upset people and and, and take first place in this group. I really like uh, Poland's roster. I think they're going to be another tough out. Um, wh- whoever gets them in knockout stage, I can see them um, upsetting them. Uh, pull up Spain's roster because on this, for me, even if you don't want to bring you 24 or whatever, bring up two 18-year-olds who never are going to play and let them hang out with the older guys and get the experience. Like, what's the point of yeah. not keeping it's, the full roster? It makes it's no a, sense. It's a coach who thinks he's too so smart. And you yeah. know what's going to happen? I'm completely wrong. Spain will do great. They'll go to the final. They have four guys hurt, six guys on yellow cards. <laughs> and then they'll be like, oh, I didn't have enough people. Hey, Busquets, Busquets is out. Yeah, he's got COVID. He's got COVID. He's got COVID. Um, yeah. Well, so he's not officially removed from the roster yet. But... How do you already you mean official? It'd take to 15 days. Well, they have a name to replace him, though. Yeah, he could play. He could still play in the second round. Yeah, they didn't remove him yet. That's what I mean. So um, just looking at that, and Spain's big question is up top. I mean, if you saw their um, their friendly recently, like everyone's calling out Morata because he misses chances all the time, and you can't you can't rely on him. I mean, their their forwards, their weak spot, the rest of their team is is pretty solid. I have faith in Morata. I think he's good I enough that, to yeah. carry you in a tournament. He can get hot and do really well. But he also will miss some sitters and some easy ones that are going to get people to you know very very angry. So um, do you do you love the Spain defense though? And they're relying a lot. I heard on this Eric Garcia kid. That just Eric Garcia is a solid player. I and I understand. He's also twenty, right? Like you know, yeah, but I mean, you, you put him next to Laporte and uh, Alba, and you know they got they got no, they're, team. They're, 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 their team's good. They're one of the favorites, right? Like, they're one of the favorites. That's what I'm saying. We're not making yeah. a hidden. I'm saying they're good, but I don't, I don't necessarily think that they're a gimme to run through the tournament or anything and end up in the final. Yeah, I mean Spain has done really well and then really bad in tournaments recently. Yeah. Um, and they have Fa- uh, Fabian Ruiz on Napoli, someone to keep an eye out. Also, hope, I'm hoping he gets some playing time um, mm-hmm. for them. Um, yeah, is anyone is anyone going for? I'm gonna go Poland, one Spain two. You're gonna have a lot of two two matchups in your bracket. Um, <laughs> you know that are gonna be really good games in that first knockout round. <laughs> I guess so. Because you have a lot of upsets happening. I don't see Spain losing the group, but I see Poland advancing. With yeah, I, I think I would say Spain and Poland to move on. Yeah, for sure. I see Poland, Spain, and Sweden. You're picking three from this group. I think there's a good, good chance a third team comes out of this group. Sweden, they don't play good all the time. With no Zlatan, you're basing this on uh, Kulisevsky. He's going to carry the team. <laughs> Pull up Sweden's roster, Don. I know I know we got Kulisevsky on there, and then we're going to be watching him closely. And some um, Barack on here, too. Bonberg. Yeah. Isaac is good. I mean, they don't have they, – they got some good players, too. <laughs> Sven Erdahl from Stamp. Um, Oh, they did call, of course, Holy Cow. 
Who? He got hurt. He got He's hurt. hurt. He got hurt. Yeah, I mean, he didn't play yeah. the end of the season for Milan either. Yeah, if Sweden, if Sweden had Abramovich, different, different game, but the, the team's not bad. Though. I can see bad. them coming in third. Yeah, and uh, advancing. Um, no, but we're uh, yeah, we're all pretty much on the same page for this group. Let's go to Group F, which is uh, we can say is the group of death, right? Yes. <laughs> what is that? I mean, look at this group: France, Germany, right, Hungary, and Portugal. All right, yeah, that's France, that's Germany, Hungary, uh, Hungary, whatever. Uh, so let's Portugal. see if we have any. Let's see if we have any um, discerning uh dissension in the ranks in terms of how we think these teams are gonna do. I, I, I have a hunch that I see a little different. Well I mean how, does anyone not have France winning the group? No. No Tom pull up France's <laughs> roster. If, if anyone sees France's roster like there's no way you have to be crazy not to pick them to well plus for the roster's great but they have Deschamps. Yeah. So Deschamps is a good coach. So you know as an ex Juventus ties and even when he was in City in City Theo Hernandez can't make this team. Yeah. Theo Hernandez is one of the best uh, fullbacks in Serie A, and he can't make this team. It's insane. You know, but, so, I mean, what I really, what I, well, they had, do have a weak spot. They have Rabiot. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, but, you know, well, the funny, at, the funny thing is, though. you want me to really make you cry? If you look at their midfield, Kingsley Coleman was on events as an 18 year old, they got rid of him. Uh, Pogba was here. It's good. We got rid of him. Tolisa, we wanted for two years. We couldn't get him. Uh, French, uh, French is good team. Yeah. yeah. No, Tolizo, obviously. I mean, Tolizo, I, I'm, I'm glad they didn't get him. Well, yeah, um, he never quite panned out, but I mean, he's, he would have played on our midfield this year. As but still, fan. I mean, these, these players, though, like, you, you take them. <laughs> like, that they're very solid, very, very solid team. Uh, mm-hmm. If they don't get – Final four, it would be like a travesty to, in my eyes. Like they have to get at least final four. Yeah, I mean they're very good players. They're not really old. I mean they should be they should be set up nicely to go to go through this. But they have a hard group. Like there's no there's no gimme, right? Like yeah. Producer okay. Dom thinks Ronaldo chokes and Portugal doesn't make it out of the group. I'm thinking that's what he's well, saying. I mean, you you guys would say that that the third place team here is advancing, right? I would think yes. Um, I think Germany is going to come in second. I agree. I think I don't. I think Germany. Well, third, uh, third place. Yeah, for, for sure, Portugal. You sure? Wait. I'm no. throwing them away as third place in this group. Yes. Yeah, I think. Um, I, John, pull up Germany's roster. Um, I have it: France, Germany, Portugal, as the as the the order. Same. Germany, I think, is not playing well, but they have a very good roster. If you look at their team. I mean, first of all, you have Khan, you have Emery Khan, you have Gosens. They have your favorite player, Gosens. They have my, so he's worth six <laughs> points by himself. <laughs> <Gosens. That's six laughs> hey, he scored a really nice goal today, man. Yeah, man, it's good too. The defense has a nice defense. Do you trust? Do you trust Germany's forwards? That's their question mark too. Like, I don't trust Havertz. Havertz Mueller's is older. Okay, though. He's um, playing okay Werner, right now. Werner's been very inconsistent. Werner. Um, I, yeah, but they're they're not like playing well. As, no, I don't expect. Right I, I don't expect Germany to win a lot of games four four three. I don't, but I think they're going to be positioned well enough between defense and midfield. They're going to be really hard to break down. They, yeah, they're they're solid, team. solid team. Yeah, let's go to um, plus Portugal. they have Nair Na- Na- Net, who's one of the best. Yeah. Um, Jao Cancelo, ex Juventus. Diaz yeah, had an. Diaz, people are saying, is the EPL player of the year. So, um, Listen, I, I'm picking Portugal to, to go finish second in this group. So I, I agree that, that they're, <laughs> they're solid. Bruno Fernandes has been fantastic. He's Don't really forget, they have one disadvantage if it doesn't go well. That yeah. they have to keep Ronaldo on the field, same as Juventus. So if it doesn't go well, the options dwindle in terms of how you fix it. Yeah, but yeah, he's but more, Ronaldo, Portugal, that's good too. He Ronaldo also, also has midfielders to pass him the ball on this. Yeah, team, and so. he can he can take. Yeah, over but no, game. but but think what you just said, man. They're going to be going up versus the France midfield, and versus the Germany midfield. You think they're going to run around and do whatever they want, Portugal? I don't think so. I don't think they're going to have that much time and space. I mean, it's, they're going to be very good games. I'm they are going to be very good games. Yeah. <laughs> 
you hope that, that, that they're entertaining. Did you do you have um, Hungary's roster by any chance? Just I to see it. it. Yeah, I made everyone's roster today. You did? I want to see if I even recognize anyone on this team. Um, I mean, I, I I can't I can't pick any of these guys out. Philadelphia Union. <laughs> oh God. No, honestly, I know nothing about this team, so this could be. Yeah, they're, they're no bodies, no. Yeah, mm. yeah FC which means, gonna, which means they'll, they'll come in third in the tournament. <laughs> uh, yeah, I just I think they got a crummy draw, right? I mean, it's yeah. ask, if Hungary comes out of this group, then they have Listen, a hell of a success. Even, even they aren't expecting to get out of this. Group, no, so like you have to be crazy to pick them too. So here's games. the thing, though. Here's the thing: if you're playing an underdog team in a group that is very very tough, the group of death, when's the least game you want to play them? There's two games that are more dangerous. The middle game is the best time to play them because – I mean, if you have to play France in your last game, it depends if it means anything for France. If they have that's it locked up, so, then, I, then, I want, then I want to play them. If they well, don't, I'm saying. I don't the hung, want to play <laughs> Hungary, Hungary opens up with Portugal where everyone's at zero, right? So that's not a great thing for Portugal. Well, Portugal's got to get three points there. If they don't get they got to get three there, points, they're, yeah. You know, it's their – because I could, them. I could see France and Germany tying the first game. Yeah, you, you could see all those games tying, right? Like you know, <laughs> it should be interesting. It should be fun. I can't wait. Yeah, uh, I mean, any team has any team that wants to go through has to win that game versus uh, Hungary. Yes, hundred percent. And Germany I, plays Hungary the last game. Yeah. Jeez. Wait, you gotta start France and then Portugal as your tournament. That's that's a tough tough ask for a team that's not really playing all that well. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, we can we can pick our um, we could our get, tops. We could get our, top four, but is it possible without knowing the the breakdown yeah. of how they the lineups like who plays who? Yeah. That's the thing. I don't know how the bracket's going to shake out, so I can't – I mean, to pick your top four is tough. Do you guys want to pick your top goal scorer of the tournament? I think sure, that's we, sure we could do that. I mean, I uh, think the, the easy answer is Lukaku. I think it's going to be between Lukaku and Mbappe. Not that I'm picking anyone on a – Lukaku who? Mbappe. What about oh, – What about Lewandowski? It could be him too. No, I don't think Lewandowski. Does Lewandowski get far enough to, to win that? And what know? about Team Mobley? According, Mobley, no. <laughs> no way. Are you according to Frankie Poland's gonna get the top four? Oh, so. <laughs> Raspadori, there you go. Um, uh, he, 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 he wish he, he could play like uh, Rossi. Yeah, yeah, that would be great. They did, they compared Raspadori to, to, to Rossi um earlier this week. Uh, I, I'm picking Ronaldo as my top goal scorer. Uh, Are you? Yeah, wow. I, I, I think he's. I think he's going to do. He's going to so score have, his goals. So you have Portugal. So you have Portugal going far. Yeah, I think. I think Portugal is going to go far, far in the tournament. I'm but I also say, think he's. You know, he's going to score a lot. He's going to score. I don't his. think he's going. I don't think he's going to clean up in the first group with all the hard games. I'm going to say um, Lukaku. I think if you look at Lukaku's group, he's probably got the best chance to get off to a really good start. Right, Denmark, Finland, Russia. Like he could have five by the end of the group. By the end of the, the group stage. Yeah, that's nice. He, although they're a good team, that's nice. No, nothing's easy in these things. So who do you pick? Do what they play with, you know? I guess. Uh, I think I think if I had to put money on it, I, I would I would put it on Lukaku. Okay. Just because he had a great season, and, and the yeah. and the group they're playing. Listen, I th- I think he's the favorite. No one's going with Harry Kane. No. Oh, is Kane the favorite? Kane is the favorite, really? Wow. Kane, Kane, Kane has been a three four years. He don't do great things. He's not been like he was in better form years ago. Yeah. Well, he was awesome this season. You kidding me? He had like twenty plus goals and like twelve assists or something. Yeah, but remember the year before he transferred? Like he was insane. Every time he touched the half half chance, he put it away. I don't know. I didn't want. I didn't see him that much this year, but. Yeah. So the problem too with picking England is I'm pretty sure that if they win that group, they yeah, who play do they play? The, the second in Group F, I think they play or something like that. So, so yeah, exactly. <laughs> so that's or maybe it's the round F. I don't know. It's something weird like that. But they, it's a tough group. It's a tough draw afterwards. 
Kane has as many goals as Ronaldo this season. Yeah, I mean, he, yeah, he, he had, did. yeah, he had a solid, he had a solid nine. season. Yeah. Um, I like Kane and, better than Ronaldo. So. <laughs> yeah, I mean they're different players, right? But yeah, like, they're totally yeah. different players. Yeah. But yeah. Um, no one's putting no one's putting their money on Ramsey. <laughs> or Rabia. Um, who does? What about Morata? No, God no. No. They're right. No. Uh, all right, so what else? We picked we picked uh everyone pick who they think is gonna win. Did we all pick Lukaku? I picked Lukaku. Dan picked Ronaldo. You I picked, picked Ronaldo. Lukaku. Who'd you pick? I picked him oh. <laughs> Yeah. He's gonna finally break out for Italy. All right. All right. Okay, so how many though? How many let's say how many how many goals do you think wins it? Total? How many goals wins it? Yeah. Um, seven. Yeah, I'd say seven. Yeah, I was thinking six. Oh, that's a high number. Yeah, right. Mm-hmm. But listen, I hope, I hope this. Doesn't... I... Yeah, four. four. So he's, he's not win. winning top goal scorer with four goals. Because yeah, yeah. If you get all the way to the finals, you're playing like seven games by itself. Games, no, you know? I'm gonna talk about the rule. No, I'm talking about overall no. for the whole tournament. No. What do you think overall, for the whole tournament? Uh, seven. Seven. Or seven. All right. Hey, like, let's hope that's true. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I think if Italy, I think if Italy goes far, and I think they can. I think it's going to be similar to the uh, 2006 World Cup, where they have a lot of different goal scorers. Yes. 100. I think Raspadori will pitch in. I think Insigne, Berardi will score. Barella. You think Raspadori is going to play more than like Belotti? I'd honestly rather oh. see him more than Belotti, to be honest with you. I would too. I'm just asking you. Do you think? I don't know if Mancini will do that. Is doing, is not doing good. Yeah, not I, doing I, well. I don't know if I. I think Mancini is loyal to Belotti, but I think I'd rather have Raspadori come in with this form. There's there's something about Raspadori, man. I mean, I think Mancini loves him. I think he's got so much potential, and he's such a team player. He can he can change the game without scoring. He doesn't need to score. He can do so much more than that. I, do we I want, think. Go ahead. Do we want to predict like Italy's starting lineup for the first game? No, I think we know what they're starting. I want to take Mutu. Uh, I want to take Raspadori instead of uh, Belotti. Yeah. yeah, maybe Mancini will see it the same way. He can play for the team, too. He can yeah. play in the, for the yeah. team. I, I think Mancini is really high on Raspadori, and I Plus, really hope he has some balls and he plays them. Plus, in these tournaments, there's something to be said for that young up-and-comer that's never played before that has all this energy. And yeah. Bellotti's played how many games on the, on the national team? He's got to play at least 50 by now. Like, yeah. you, you don't – it's not the same. When you're brand new and it's your first time playing, and it's like, you know, sometimes you catch lightning in a bottle, right? Like – I'm, I'm telling you, put Raspadori with those wingers. He will he will hold the ball up, pass it out wide to them, make the runs in the middle. That guy will be really, really – do really, really well with, with the players that are on that roster. Honestly, yeah, the thing I'm there. worried about Italy is I'm worried about stupid penalty calls against them. Oh, I mean, that's, that's anything. That's any game. Listen, part of these tournaments is luck, too. So yeah. everything that we're saying is, is really doesn't really matter because luck has a lot to do with it. You know, you can get a red card in the first five minutes of, of the game one and ruin your entire tournament right there. You know, ref makes a stupid call, something happens. And, you know, so luck has a lot to do with it. Yeah. Um, but Italy has – Italy mm-hmm. has five um, – Friday, first game, three o'clock, three p.m. Eastern time, right? It's yep, yeah. Hey, hey, the first game is Friday. Friday, three p.m. Yeah. Hey, Italy is gonna start. Mm-hmm. Yes, first game. They're the host. They're the first game. Um, we do have our poll, our not our. Um, we have our little tournament bracket thing, right? I think I made one. All right. Yeah. I, I, I made a. A selection of choice. I probably didn't even pick anything that I said in this. No, me neither. I don't think because the, the um, site we're using. In fairness, if you guys want to participate, click the link below. Get your teams in. Uh, but fair warning, it's a horrible site. I have yes. no idea who I even picked. It sucks that site. It's free. It, it yeah. is free though. If you want to join our thing, see how you guys match up against us. Um, uh, feel for the free. record, my predictions on this thing are what I'm going with, and not whatever buttons I click <laughs> on that website because I don't know who I picked to come out of the groups. 
Okay. Wait, so really quickly, we didn't even pick. Who do you guys think is going to win it all? Well, you want to do top four? France. You think France? I think Italy is going to win. I'm going to go Italy. Yeah, but listen to me. Yeah, all right. We can talk about it now. But it's too early to talk about it. It is. I'm just saying. Who do you, you think? France. You... France is my choice. I think Italy is going for the World Cup in, the, in uh, w- winter. That's, that's where I'm picking Italy. <laughs> um, I'll take I'm not that. picking it for this tournament. Right. So I was gonna I was gonna say France or Italy. So I'll say Italy just because we're Italian. Frank, have some balls. You picked Poland to go so far. Pick them to win it. Come on. <laughs> no, I think I think they're gonna go to the eight though. Yeah. Round of eight. Who do you think is gonna win? Me? No, him. Italy. 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 He always picks. See, Italy. the thing is, you can't ask us who we think is gonna win because we we just always go I back to the Italy. fandom. Well, I didn't. I picked France. Uh, I'm, being reali- I'm being realistic. I think France is, is going to win. That team is. Who's your top four? Who's your Who's your top four? Uh, it's hard to do though. Yeah, I mean uh, the best four teams in the tournament. I yeah. think are France. I'm putting. I'm putting Belgium. I'm putting. Um, I'm putting Italy in that. I think they're in the mm-hmm. top four. And I'm probably putting. Kind of want to pick someone who's not like expected to be in the top four, so I'm going to say, you know, screw it. I'm Poland in my top four. Oh, I've <laughs> talked to you so much into Poland that now you took my top four. No, I like them as a team. I didn't, I like them too. Right, right. Do them dirty. Put Croatia in there. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I would put Ukraine if I was going to put someone, but no, I'm not going to. I'm not going to put Ukraine. Um, so our top four. I mean, look, yeah, the, the four best teams on paper: are Italy, France. Um, uh, oh my God! I just drew a blank. Who else did you say, Dan? In the first three, Belgium, Belgium, Belgium and I think, Spain, and I and Poland. I think, Ger- and I think Germany. Germany, because their track record in tournaments is pretty good. Um, Dom's <laughs> picking Netherlands. I'm telling you, Netherlands, Netherlands, ne- Netherlands is, is not coming in fourth place now. in their group because <laughs> Dom has picked them. So they're fourth place guaranteed. <laughs> Hond is I'm going actually- Portugal, France, Belgium, England. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's um, pretty. Um, we have fair yeah. representation of all the big nations. I feel like across the chat, and I was gonna say France, Belgium, England, Italy. Okay, but I don't know. I just can never buy into England before a tournament because I'm so used to watching them underachieve. Worse than yeah. worse than Italy. They're a very hard team to trust. Yeah, to but if on, they like, catch, I would the... never throw money on them. Yeah, if they catch the right tournament with the right people in form. Yeah, they could be fun throughout the whole thing. Mm-hmm. All right, I think that pretty much wraps it up. I just hope it's oh, a fun well, let me just say, tournament. let me just say, Dan said Poland joking around, but realistically, all these that tournaments, <laughs> no, what I'm saying, uh, all these tournaments, they don't get the top four teams get to the five. The no, five, there's you know what I mean. Always, so there's yeah, there's so, always someone that surprises. I don't know how the brackets shake out, but that's not a crazy pick. Yeah. Um. All right. Subscribe. We got YouTube. We got Twitch. Chris and I haven't streamed um, Football Manager in a long time. We should probably get on that. I'm blaming um, you. I know. I didn't. I didn't really, haven't really feel like playing. But um, Twitch, YouTube, Twitter. Um, I tweeted twice today. <laughs> twice or once. I, I only listen to us on Apple Podcasts, by the way. Oh yes. Yeah. So we got Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, Spotify now. So like I said, if you don't want to see our faces you can just listen to our terrible voices highly um, recommended audio only yeah when you're driving in the car we try not to drive off a bridge because you're listening to us but um it's, it's a different way to listen to us yep and next week when we come back we'll have uh to talk about what uh, probably every first... single game that we picked wrong <laughs> yeah well it'll you have two games right now yeah so they so play we'll talk about no, the two they? games no yeah, we'll... No, no, we'll have one Friday. Game. Uh, just Friday's so we'll Friday. talk about the game against Turkey. We'll recap yeah. that one, um, and we'll talk about more transfers because I'm sure Donnarumma will be on PSG. By, by then, that. Donnarumma will be on PSG, <laughs> loaned back to Inter, so Daddy can blow a head gasket. <laughs> loaned back to Inter. Inter. <laughs> <laughs> that, was the, that would be the most stupid thing. <laughs> that would be amazing. I would, I would even care. I would love that. Yeah. Um, we'll talk about other games uh, of the tournament that are interesting. I mean, if there's a good game that or an upset or whatever, but um, we're going to keep it strictly, I guess, Italy focused. Or, I have to. Or I have group, to I, at least they're group focused. 
I have to figure out how to watch like three hey, yard games a day we, we, at night we're still after on, work. Right? We are still on. Yeah. Yes, we're still on. <laughs> we're <the two. laughs> I have what? one question. I have one question out of the Europe. Uh-huh. And going back to USA champion. Where is that uh, tournament? Just one game? No. no. The no. Nation, that, that Nations League, that was a that was a tournament that they've been playing for a couple yeah, of years. How many people participate in this? I don't it's the same thing. It's the same thing as the Nations League that Wafer plays too. Basically, it's a Concacaf Nations League. It's yeah. just all the teams. Are I from- think, uh, of course, you know what's uh, the usual team. I think it took over what the Gold Cup used to be. Basically. Yeah. No, they you still have the Gold Cup, don't they? They still have the Gold Cup. I, I think. Even Isn't it? Tournaments. It took a place like friendlies for qualifying for helping qualify for the World Cup, right? Maybe. I don't know. I don't really keep track of that crap. We are the worst podcast ever. Do not listen to us. <laughs> <laughs> well, to be fair, I don't really follow CONCACAF. I don't really care about it. Yeah, but we should know the rules of the Nations League. I feel like it, I think it's just glorified friendlies. Yeah, yesterday I remember I remember there would be a game. They it are. Be a game right. USA, Mexico. Made up to me go to go five minutes before they start. And I called Christopher and said, oh, you have a game? Yeah. Yeah. But you barely know, what, barely know what offsides is sometimes. So I don't no, know. I know. I, I just say the old offsides rule was better. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's end this. Let's go. Yeah. Um, we'll see you guys next week. Yeah. Take Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for chatting. Good night. Good night.